Nothing wrong with hate mail. Nothing. And welcome back to our second session today. More like our ninth. Well, well uh, did you not episode session? <laughs> biscuits, good. Yeah, b- 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 pot of tea and some biscuits. That's cookies to our American friends. Stupid Americans. <laughs> Well, they I like cookies. I like I like chocolate chip. The, the yeah. all American chocolate chip cookie is mm-hmm. amazing. But you know, I still like an actual proper Vicky. Yes, bludgeon, bludgeon that man. Did kick him, kick him in the face. Something happened. Ooh, we're under attack by Russians now. Well, that's us fucked. Hmm. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're, we'll win. We have we're forty-eight still. dollars. <laughs> For now, we're, we're getting more monies. So it's only if we charge these buggers to use the soda machine, so we'd probably be rich by now. Or the ping pong table. Yeah, they can put a quarter in every time they have to use it. At least in Dungeon Keeper, you can actually do that. Yeah. Charge them for using the casino. But that also upsets your minions. I have a Dungeon Keeper uh, world editor I've been mucking around with. Very basic stuff. But, you know, massive over the top maps with too many portals and not enough space to put <laughs> minions. We must get Raven doing a playthrough of the, the Escapist. Yes. Where you have to actually think intelligently and plan ahead or the game fucks you up. Him and Morphman together. Oh. That could be hilarious. Yes, we must arrange that. Mm. Looks like quite a fun game, actually. Same guys who did Worms. Okay, I enjoyed Worms. Worms, it's was, Worms Armageddon was such a laugh. Imagine, like, the perspective you have now, but in 2D. And you're basically in a prison and you have to escape. Hmm. That could be quite a laugh, actually. But if you're not meticulous about exactly how you plan it, everything goes horribly wrong for you. Which is why Raven must play it. And Morphman. They yes. can play it together, because... One will go left, one will go right, and between them they'll destroy everything. Mm. It'll be hilarious. This will be beautiful. Yes. It's assuming Morphman doesn't die of asphyxiation in his morph suit. <laughs> See, unlike Ninja Brian, Morphman can't take his head off. It's permanently attached. Okay, well. Something about the game. Look, a table. This poor bugger's on his own. No one's playing with him. Gosh. He's an oppressed guard. Nobody wants to play with him. There's a lot of fighting training going on there. Well, that's always good. Yes, there's a lot of soldiers in development. And some mice in a maze, apparently. That's good for their concentration. It helps improve their uh, intelligence. There's another one over here by the door. If only I could get smarter by watching mice run around. <laughs> you just have to put your head outside the uh, window more often at work. <laughs> Actually, we recently installed a generator in the office park, and I could see them building it out my window next to my desk, which is quite fun. Must have been a hell of a... But I hear they've been stealing generators lately anyway. How the hell? That thing's like as big as your room. I'd be surprised what they can nick. Mostly they've been stealing them from small shops and that. Yeah, so that's probably more those little generators. Little ones, yeah, still. I mean, this is the generator big enough to power, like, 50 companies. Answer. Yep. Um, yes. Took this like massive truck with a crane that kind of looked like the artillery, Chinese artillery from generals. Mm. It even like deployed the legs to mount itself onto the ground before it unloaded everything. It was quite fun to watch. Mm. That's actually another game we should get. Generals. Mm. I think I might actually have it lying around somewhere. I'll go dig through my cupboard. There was a mod for it, the uh, heavy duty mod. Oh yeah, I remember that. Me was that. a good laugh. We must do a playthrough of Total Annihilation. Mm. Perhaps a you vs. Yeah, you can get it up on your laptop. Then we'll do a you vs. me. That could be a laugh. Yeah. The ultimate death match. Hmm. I've never played Total Annihilation before. <laughs> could be quite amusing. Oh, I th- it, as old as it is, it's still got some of the most realistic physics for a strategy game I've ever come across. Hmm. 
your height advantage for units on mountains actually has a reasonable effect. Your artillery units can actually reach half the map in range. It was way ahead of its time game though. Even modern day strategies don't have as accurate physics and whatnot. That's good. Thank you, good sir. I like, I like, I'd like a realistic strategy game in which you oh, my biscuit just died in the tea. Mm. Don't touch the spoons. Stuff, mumble, words. Yeah, mum, mum, mum. I'm, eating, I'm, eating the, yeah, I'm eating a biscuit here. This is more important than talking at this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think well, people one are used to us being competent you can have by now. Realistic uh, effects, as it were. So, you know, half your army ends up with dysentery or what have you. He says, Look, well done, Lucky. It's more biscuit on you. <laughs> That's what the beard's for. Uh, it's not the beard, it's all over your hand and everything else. Ginger biscuit all over you. God, he looks like you just shat yourself and wiped it all over your face. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, on a bike. Why the hell did we find you people? At school. <laughs> God damn it. I must have been the only intelligent one there. There's more food on you than in you. That's from staving it for later. Now, now it looks like you're some weird bloody Celtic scat fetishist. It's, just, <laughs> it's freaking creepy. Oh, look, more agents. Let's let's bludgeon some more people to death. We're getting doors in. At least the doors are being laid. We have Jimmy all over the place. Door, door, door. Quite a few doors. It's good. How many men have we got left here? Ooh, heat is picking up there. So. Off to the next adventure. Yes, when the heat gets bad. Go to Australia. Exactly. When in doubt, invade Australia. <laughs> it's only going to bring us in a thousand six a month, but. At least something's coming it, in. It's still money, yeah, because we don't just have to build them bloody hotels down But we will get money from the hotel when it's up, right? I, I don't actually know because every time I've gotten to build a hotel, secret agents arrive and blow it up and then use it as a way of invading your base. Because they open up, they rip the floor open and then tunnel through into your base and stop blowing it up. I see. Yeah, I've, I've been attacked many a time. And we can't build underground minefields, why? Yeah, they didn't put that in the game. Silly, silly. Developers, I'm going to come complain to you even though you may not exist anymore. I still complain. <laughs> See, this is, I think this sort of era was like the heyday for computer games because you had stuff like you mean this. 2004. That, yeah, well, sort of 95 to 2005, let's say. Because mm. you had games like this where there was a decent concept. It wasn't just everything was a Call of Duty clone. 2015, well, not even 2013 onwards now, been a lot of indie games going back to those roots. Yeah, it's just this, this whole concept of what this was is what's bringing all these indie gamers out. They're realizing that the companies aren't doing it. They're doing it, and the people clearly want it because they're all diving into and getting these indie games. And there's yeah, some really brilliant call, ones coming I mean, call, out. Call of Duty, I will always enjoy. I've had some good fun. It's blog. fun, but it's not like the be-all and end-all of gaming. It is if you're you know, into that kind of gaming. You know, it's like those people who play sports games. I don't understand why, but if that's your thing, go for it. I mean, you've got, like, your big games. you like your Call of Duty, your Modern Warfare, your Halo. Your hmm. Halo's good. Raven's a huge Halo fan. Multiplayer's great. Hmm. I've run him over many a time. <laughs> it's so enjoyable. Uh, my, I'll always be an Unreal Tournament fan. <laughs> 